Do you ever feel like you can't do something? You know, that it's too far away from anything you've been trained in or prepared for, that you just can't do it. Whatever it is for you, I've definitely been there many times. Actually, you know, let me try that one more time. I've been there many times in one week, uh, even many times in one day. You know, times where I felt like I am so far at the end of my rope that I just don't know where to turn. But something interesting happens when I'm at that point. Two choices come up, okay. Uh, one, I can give in to what I'm feeling, whether that be fear, anxiety, stress, or just be wanting to give up. Or I can humble myself and say, God, you know, I don't have what it takes right now, but I know that you're with me. I don't know what to say or do or where to turn to, and I need your help, so would you please just help me. There's something powerful that happens when we go to God with complete honesty and say, God, you know, honestly, I feel like I can't do it. I can't handle this. Please help me. Recently, I read the book of Psalms in the Bible, and I, I don't know about you, but I found it kind of hard to read at first. I'm not really a poetry guy, but I felt that God wanted me to read it. And as I started, he showed me how to read Psalms, not his songs or his poems, but he showed me to read it almost as King David's personal diary, like an insight into his thought processes. Well, in Psalm 121, it says, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. For years I heard this scripture, but it wasn't until recently um, I heard a pastor explain this verse that it really came alive to me. You see, I didn't know that back however many thousands of years ago, the kings with their caravans used to travel along trade routes and busy roads uh, with all their goods. And then enemies, what they used to do, they used to hide in the hills where they couldn't be seen and wait for the caravans to come, uh, you know, cross by them so that then they could like surprise attack them and steal what they had. So the psalmist really paints an amazing picture here. He says, I look to the hills. In other words, I look out at the circumstances of life that I have no control over. I look into my day to day where trouble could come from any angle. And I have the same question as everyone else. You know, when is this going to end? Where is my help going to come from? But then he remembers and says, my help, it comes from God. It comes from the Lord. He made heaven. He made earth. And he's more than capable of giving me the strength or the wisdom or whatever I need to do whatever it is that I need to do. It's interesting that the psalmist doesn't say, I lift my eyes to the army that's in front of me. It says, I lift my eyes to the hills, to the enemy that isn't known, the circumstance that isn't known. I don't know about you, but the hardest things that I have had to overcome were the things that caught me off guard because I can't prepare for them. You know, the attacks that seem to come out of nowhere, of the circumstances that can take a great day at school, a great day at work, great day at home, and suddenly turn it into, you know, chaos or struggle. You know what I'm talking about. You're minding your own business. Suddenly uh, someone out of nowhere says something to you, does something to you, maybe cuts you off in traffic. Uh, worst case scenario, if you're working radio, maybe um, the local coffee store uh, stops serving coffee. Like, God forbid that ever happens. Uh, I remember having days like this, except the coffee part. That'd be really bad. But, uh, you know, days where I faced really real and difficult situations and it took a while. But I learned that you can't predict when these things will happen to you or around you, but you can prepare for them. You know, I look at the things that I've had to face, even in the last couple of years, and the only way that I've been able to overcome everything that I have is because of the quiet time I spend with God. You know, the time I spend meditating on scripture, like Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord your God with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will, he will make straight your paths. Let me encourage you, if we're gonna do all that God has for us to do, it's gonna take work. And if we're gonna do that work, it's gonna push us out of our comfort zones. And when it does, let's be honest, it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable. But the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Psalm 28, seven, the Lord is my strength and my shield. In him, my heart trusts and I'm helped. My heart exalts and with my song, I give thanks to him. You know, I don't know what my weeks hold. I don't know even what next week's gonna hold. I don't know what next month or next year is gonna look like for me and neither do you but God does. So let me encourage you, draw on God for your strength. I promise you, he won't let you down.